Okay, if you want to write the equation of a line, um, generally we use either slope-intercept form or point-slope form. So if you know the slope, you know the y-intercept, just put them right in. y equals 6x minus 3. If you know the slope and you know point that it goes to, you want to use point-slope form, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. That would give us y minus, our y-coordinate is 2, equals the slope, which is 6, and then x minus the x-coordinate, which is negative 1. So we have y minus 2 equals 6 times x plus 1. You can leave it in point-slope form. You could multiply that out and get um, y on one side and everything else on the other if you wanted to. That would give us uh, y equals 6x plus 6 plus 8. Uh, if it goes through two points, you're just given two points. Now you can see when we use point-slope form, you always need a point and the slope. So if you don't have the slope, you find the slope. So here, using one of your methods from slope, if you go from 2 to 4, that's going up 2. And from negative 1 to negative 5 is down 4. So that's negative 1 half for the slope. And then we, you can use either point here when you're using your point-slope form. So I would have uh, y minus 2 is negative 1 half times x plus 1. Or you could do y minus 4 is negative 1 half times x plus 5. Goes through a certain point and is parallel. Remember, parallel lines have the same slope. So again, every time you use these, again, it's called point, slope, form. So you need the point and you need a uh, slope. So we've got our point, our slope. Our slope is going to be 3. You know, parallel lines have the same slope. So this one would be y minus 2 equals 3 times x plus 1. Perpendicular. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals of each other. So here the slope would be the negative reciprocal of 3, which is negative 1 third. So y minus 2 equals negative 1 third times x plus 1. And again, you can leave it in point-slope form or you could change it.